Look at me. Look into my withered eyes. It is four o'clock in the morning. You don't need to fake a hate crime for a tension. There's all this conflict in the war. There's all this conflict going on. There's all the things people see and people care about it. We don't need people grasping at straws for attention because they don't see enough people talking about something or they don't really see people caring about this subject. You don't need to fake anything for this. You have real world examples that can be used to illustrate whatever point you want to make about insert group here being discriminated against, being targeted, being harassed, being abused. It's just that easy. But for some reason, we got these people who are desperate to have everybody pay attention and they do the dumbest things possible instead of doing the smartest thing possible, which is to say and get in front of a camera or get in front of a phone and say, hi, I would like for everyone to pay attention about insert subject here because it is important to insert group of people here. Could you please share this knowledge with other people so that they can know? It's just that easy. But instead of going with that option, you instead have people fighting their own family members and then turning that around into I got ran over by someone who's anti-Palestine. A 20 year old faking being a victim of a hate crime and being arrested for it. An Ohio man has been arrested for allegedly lying to police about being the victim of an anti-Palestine hate crime. Hassam A. Ayad, 20 years old, told the Cleveland chapter of Council on America Islamic Relations that a driver had hurled anti-Palestine slurs at him and hit him with his car, according to an October 23rd CAIR press release demanding an investigation into the incident. North Ridgefield police arrested Ayad on Tuesday and said he lied about the encounter and that his injuries had come from a fight with his brother. Ayad told CAR, C-A-I-R officials, that he was walking home from eating lunch near the border of Alstead Falls and North Richfield around 4 10 p.m. when a vehicle slowed down beside him and the driver yelled statements like Kill all Palestinians and long live Israel at him according to the press release the driver then allegedly turned around and hit the man while shouting die the release included a photo of Ayad lying in a hospital bed while wearing a neck brace. We hope the North Richfield Police Department and the FBI will collect all the information they need to charge this individual with a hate crime. Ayad told responding police officers that he had been struck by a vehicle and that the incident was racially motivated. He was taken to the hospital, cops said. Investigators reviewed video footage from the area and concluded that Ayad had lied about being hit by the vehicle and lied about the racial slurs. Police said the injuries sustained at the time of the incident were caused by a violent fight that the alleged victim had participated in with his brother which was confirmed by area video surveillance. Ayad was taken into custody on Tuesday and charged with making false alarms, falsification and obstructing official business, domestic violence and assault according to Cleveland.com The Post reached out to CAIR Cleveland for comment on the arrest Ayad's 19 year old brother Khalid A. Ayad was also arrested and charged with domestic violence and assault, the cops said the brothers are being held in Lorain County Jail. You don't need to do this. You look stupid. You look foolish. You both now sit in jail waiting for Big Tyrone to give you that long and strong because he loves all Palestinians who sit in a jail cell with him. And you are creating a society of people who will lead to more destructive conversation instead of productive conversation. Because I'm certain there's a bunch of people who are watching this video that care about the conflict going on with Palestine and they'll see something like this and they'll say you are stupid you are very unnecessary in what you did you created no form of positive dialect you have instead given ammo to people who don't care at all and are willing to use that and use it against all of us great job you did such a good job it's pointless no matter what the issue is you don't have to fake a hate crime it is unproductive it's not supportive you're not an ally you're a nuisance i'm glad we could join together at the campfire for a story that was just that quick and just that simple Mwah. subscribe to the channel i will see you all in the next one goodbye